What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and as you may have already heard over the past week within the Call of Duty community, there's been a lot of controversy regarding the black market, but specifically the new Fall Firearm Special Order. I did make a video going over that when it came out on Tuesday last week. However, today I guess this is going to be like my part 2 on that topic after I've read feedback on the video plus over on the Black Ops 4 subreddit, Twitter, just really all over social media. Plus I want to show you guys or maybe any Treyarch dev watching what I think would make the black market better for Activision and the fans. Now mainly what sparked the flame so to say was my buddy Prestigious Keys video. It's definitely a very passionate one and that video really just speaks for everyone in the COD scene and I honestly mean it man. I play with Ryan and talk with him on a daily basis pretty much and trust me he is not just a COD YouTuber making videos for a paycheck like he sincerely cares for this series and has so much heart for all of the COD games and there's a very select few people I've met from all of my years of playing COD that are like that so if you have not seen that video definitely do check it out but for the special order the fall firearms you get two signature weapons one is the divinity which was something players got for pre-ordering at GameStop which now has lost all of its exclusivity pretty much and then the other was the carbon cobra for the Maddox which was given to every player however it was removed in a previous game settings update I'm not sure which one but basically everybody had it and then Treyarch removed it so really if you pre-order the game then you're basically paying $20 2,000 COD points for just one signature weapon if you pre-ordered at GameStop way 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 too much money and definitely too little content for the price like sure you get these sprays and skins whatever but nobody cares about that stuff let's be honest people care about these signature weapons like I don't know what Activision was thinking by putting a deal like this out on the market heck a lot of the skins out right now that you get by leveling up in tiers just looks so similar to another set of skins for the same character like I don't get that you know and I'm so tired of seeing the dang Dila de los Muertos skins or the gold skins for these specialist characters like I want new stuff for the characters already new stuff that actually changes their appearance and not something that adds a different shade of color to their outfits that's so ridiculous to me but that's just the side of loot things as for these signature weapons from these special orders you know I honestly would not even care if these weapons were all obtainable through leveling up in tiers or at least at least unlockable in reserves but they're not the only way you get these weapons is by paying $20 that's where I draw the line and I call bullshit. I will not spend a single dime on COD points for this game unless the system is fixed. But even then, I would not spend like $20 for a single signature weapon or a single character skin. Like, your boy doesn't make that much money as a full-time college student with a part-time job while paying for rent for his home and other bills. So, yeah, like this system really is flawed and it needs to change, but sadly, there still are those players who play the game who do not watch any YouTube videos or pay attention to any social media regarding Call of Duty and don't see these things. These casual players are what still brings Activision money in. But now don't think I'm blaming these people and saying they're the reason why the system is like this. It's not that at all. They're not the reason and it's not even Treyarch's fault either. It's the people up at Activision and I'm sorry but you are taking people for a ride and again if these items could be obtained through tier progression or reserves then there would not be a problem here but since the only way we can get these weapons are through COD points then that's just ridiculous and here we are back to square one with microtransactions plaguing the COD scene. It's really sad to see that this is what we've come to, man, and especially because I've defended Black Ops 4 so much this year, and I still really, really do enjoy this game. It's some of the most fun I've had playing COD or any video game in a very long time. I really do wish I could play more, but as I've grown older and as I'm kind of in the middle of finishing up college while moving into a new house that I bought, plus work, 
I haven't had as much time as I wish I could to play. But just to kind of give you guys a general idea of where I'm at, I'm about to be Prestige 3 Tier 170 with all of the Blackout characters that are unlockable so far. I have them all, so yeah. I really do love this game and it kills me knowing I'm not able to play as much as I want to but recently the only thing that I'm enjoying playing the most right now is Blackout Battle Royale. I don't know but that's a topic for another video but now in order to fix the tears and make COD fans a little bit more happier is again like I said earlier make items available through leveling up in tiers or unlocking them in reserves not just paying $20 or buying COD points plus maybe add a tier progression level that gives you COD points like say for one tier level you get 800 COD points and then 500 for another or maybe in reserves you get a set of 100 COD points you know just give us another way to earn COD points that that would be flipping awesome man please please activision consider doing this and if you guys have any suggestions please by all means leave them down below in the comments treyarch activision i love you guys for making a video game series that has kept me entertained and taken myself away from all of the hard struggles in life recently i love call of duty this is really the only game that i play besides like some overwatch for a few hours out of the week and nba 2k when i'm bored but even then though the only game that I've really ever played and focus all of my free time in is Call of Duty and I feel that COD has already made huge strides and is still very much alive and relevant after all of these years some good changes has happened but it's still these little things that's not really the devs fault but the higher ups at Activision hopefully come December and 2019 some good changes happen to the black market tier system and it also would be really cool to see like a Christmas themed blackout map you know but we shall see what happens no I have not lost faith in COD and it was so nice to see some positive in the COD scene a few months ago and I still think it's there but these issues need to be addressed but like a few months ago you know we were having like some of these big 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 streamers and celebrities playing blackout and playing black ops force and everybody just seemed to be on the same page but you know some issues do need to be addressed and hopefully they you know do get worked out and changed so let me know your thoughts about this plus leave your suggestions in the comments drop a like if you guys enjoy the video and thanks for watching till next time i'll see you guys later